April, the Longines Global Champions Tour opened in America and for the very first time world-class show jumping took place on Miami Beach. Since then we've been to some of the world's most iconic locations, Shanghai, Paris, Madrid, Monaco and London to name a few. And now the tour has broken new ground and come to Rome for the very first time. Welcome to the latest edition on the Longines Global Champions Tour. The Stadio de Marmi provides yet another fantastic, unique location. Now it's a new event for 2015 and yet another capital city in which to showcase one of the most exciting global sports. But what does it take to actually bring an event of this scale to this city centre location? Let's go and find out. Well, Marco, you're the man that's brought this fabulous event to Rome. Firstly, why is it important that the Longines Global Champions Tour is here in the capital city of Italy? Because we have, uh, as you know, a tour with uh, competitions in the capital cities in Europe. We have Paris, we have London, we have Madrid, we have Vienna. So it's, I think it's a natural location. It's, it's, to be in Rome, it's, it's important because it's uh, an important country for a question. Uh, we start with uh, with a plan uh, to come to Rome in uh, July last year, and uh, then we had a lot of meetings with the city of Rome, or with the Olympic Committee, because this place is owned by the Olympic Committee, and uh, we start building uh, on 24th of August. It's very important because you know we are in the park of Foritalico. Here is the, the history of um, not only the Italian sport, but I think uh, the world sport. An example, the Six Nations in rugby, the, the Golden Gala in uh, athletic, is titled to Pietro Menea. The International Tennis Tournament is one of the most important. And uh, the Sette Collis uh, Swimming and Aquatics event. And uh, now we are thinking maybe to do the same uh, uh, in the future for this fantastic opportunity with the, with the world of the Federation of Horse. Well, organizing an event is one thing, but with show jumping there is, of course, that extra element to add to the logistics, and that is the horses. These stables this week has over 200 equine athletes. Welfare is paramount here and the tour prides itself on its advanced veterinarian facilities, both transporting the horses here and once they get here. So we had all the horses by truck, approximately 70, 75 trucks. Uh, with the, including of course the horses of the Tusta. We did a lot for the welfare of the horses here. Uh, the stables are perfect, we have a very nice footing for the competition. Uh, we have as always our veterinary clinic working very hard to the welfare of the horses and uh, we think that these are perfect conditions for the, for the horses here. This event wouldn't be possible without the partnership between the Longines Global Champions Tour and the Italian Olympic Committee. This week, Rome formally submitted a bid for the 2024 Olympic Games. It's a city that takes sports seriously in hosting a prestigious international championship like the Longines Global Champions Tour is seen by the authorities as hugely important in proving that Rome can stage world-class sporting events. The, the plan is to, to go ahead with the, with the competition for the next three or five years. We decided to have the free entrance for the public because this was, uh, that was a decision with the Olympic Committee uh, to attract as much as possible the people in Rome. And I think uh, we start in a very, very good way. Everything is important because, of course, if we demonstrate to be able to organize international event as this one, in I think in a scenery, in a contest absolutely unique. I think this is a, it's a plus. It's an additional value that we have just for the credibility of the candidature. But on the other hand, 
We know that uh, this is not enough, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a little but important step.